It's not about picking stocks. It's about picking the right portfolio. There is a trend that certainly we've talked about uh, quite a bit, but I think um, bears worth repeating. Uh, there's a trend toward these negative revisions in these non-farm payroll numbers. So you can see the chart there on the left uh, shows in gray what the original reported number was. These are job gains for the month. Uh, and then what the subsequent number was after the number was revised uh, there in that uh, brown. And the black represents the uh, magnitude of the revision. And through September, uh, since the beginning of the year, uh, eight out of these nine months have been negatively revised downward. Uh, that is unusual. Um, if we go to the next slide, slide 27, and try to sort of characterize or contextualize uh, what that looks like on a year-to-date basis, at least through the first uh, nine months, uh, that works out to uh, 449,000 negative uh, revision uh, on an aggregate basis. Looking back historically, uh, it's pretty uncommon that you see these large negative revisions. Uh, and when you do see them, they tend to be in periods of uh, economic uh, stress. So sort of the obvious ones here would be, of course, during the pandemic year of 2020, uh, the GFC of 2008, uh, sort of the middle of the dot-com recession there in 2002. And then you have to go back much further to the mid 80s, uh, the early 80s, the late 70s, to find other periods uh, similar in nature. So again, I'm not trying to say that the labor market is sort of, you know, having this wily coyote moment, uh, but rather that there are a, a number of different indicators suggesting uh, that the labor market is, is certainly weakening. The restrictive policy that the central bank has had in place now for quite a long time uh, is certainly starting to uh, take a growing uh, toll. And remember that the labor market in the most sort of conventional ways people tend to think about it, uh, the unemployment rate, non-farm payrolls, uh, that tends to be a very lagging indicator. So by the time we actually get those numbers becoming quite bad, uh, we're already going to be very much, if you will, in the throat of the recession. So um, it's not like you need to see those in order to know that things are going bad. Uh, it's that by the time you see those, uh, things will already have been bad for quite a while. And the market, we think, will have reflected that. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.